help you, I can. Faint and sip, we will. <laughs> that was too much. Sorry, folks. How about we go with Bob Ross? Hello, friends. And today we're going to paint the child. He's just a, a happy little alien. We're just going to paint happy little aliens and happy little critters today. Yeah, I really got to work on that. Hey everybody, Bri the Biker, we are out on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. It is 45 degrees in New Jersey. Not bad. The pleasures of riding a full touring bike. You can stay a little warmer, ride a little longer. Going out to uh, meet the wife to do a Yoda, aka, I'm sorry, the child paint and sip at Paint and Sip in Ben Salem. So that's going to be pretty fun. Um, our artistic style's different a little bit. Kate's more of a Rembrandt, Van Gogh, you know, traditional paintist. I'm more of a Bob Ross, Peter Max, AKA, well, let's sling some paint on this canvas and see what we get. But we are both fans of the Mandalorian, so it's a good couple's night day out. So we're looking forward to it. I am trying out my new GoPro setup. I recently purchased two more Hero GoPro 7 Blacks. And we are trying this out. I've got a uh, ball mount for the uh, for the handlebar camera there, and then of course we have the camera here on my chin. Picked up a really cool adapter for this to uh, mount the mic a lot low, mount the mic underneath it, so it's nice and clean. But it's also out of my vision. Um, I can well, I can barely see it. It's, it's it's not in my sight line like it was before, where it sat up so high. So that's really cool. A little less distraction, always a good thing. So I'm looking forward to painting some happy little critters, as Bob Ross would say. I'm of a belief is there's no mistakes, people. Just happy little accidents. It's going to be a good day. So I figure I'd take you along on the ride here. See what there is to see. Hopefully I can get some footage as we paint. It's going to be a good excuse to check out the time warp. I'm uh, pretty excited about the new cameras. The third camera is going to be used for um, either on a different position on the bike, either on the crash bars in the back for the saddlebags, or thinking about getting a rickrack mount to mount in front of the tire so you get that real low view. But the main reason we got it was to give Katie, my wife, a uh, opportunity to shoot from the back. If you've seen the uh, New York Hawk Nest ride video. That's how she shot it. She just simply shot it from the back. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. It mixes up the view. You're not getting that static view of looking at me. You're looking out that way. So it mixes it up. So it should provide for some pretty good video. Unfortunately, she wasn't up for the ride today. But that's okay. We can test out the two cameras. And then we can... Uh, get ready to add a third one in hopefully maybe later today we can get her out on the bike we'll see <coughs> uh new jersey traffic circles and traffic perfect together so i guess the question is of the day is do you watch the mandalorian and what are your thoughts i've uh i'm not a big new star wars fan that said um I figured we'd try Disney Plus since we got it free for a year with our Verizon account and uh, pleasantly surprised. I, I always thought Boba Fett was kind of cool or the Mandalorians were kind of cool. And uh, seeing Baby Yoda at the end was just just the bee's knees. Uh, it's, uh, that made it for me. I instantly became a fan. My wife became a fan and we've uh, we've watched it ever since. So it's kind of fun. Get to get to paint a baby Yoda, the child as they call him. We'll see how that goes. I won't lie, sports fans. You might not want to wait up to see my painting. It's probably not going to be the best. Last time had some circle issues. You know, but it's okay. As Bob Ross said, it's just all. There's no mistakes. Just happy accidents. Oh, 
Oh, it's a chance to play the music of my people, for the people. Oh, how I love tunnels. There's just something childishly fun about revving your bike when you go through a tunnel. It's almost worth the price of admission to get good pipes. So yeah, I won't, uh, won't lie. I uh, was a little nervous when the uh, child had gotten taken, but um, the child is now safe and Baby Yoda lives to fight another day. So we will see what's up for next season. I was a little disappointed the season was so short, but uh, hey, at least I enjoyed it and um, there's always something next season, I suppose. Man, it's a nice day for being the end of January. It's, uh, let's see what we got here. 45 degrees, that's not bad at all. What are your ride limits in the area that you live in? I find that with this bike, you can take it down pretty far. Um, we've had a really mild winter this year, so I haven't really had a chance to go probably below mid 30s. But I'm looking to see what it'll do even lower. I, I find with the lowers on the bike and the heated grips and obviously good gear makes a difference. I just picked up this leather jacket um, from Harley on clearance at my local dealer. I really like it. It's got two layers. It has this layer and it has a, a flannel layer inside. It's extremely warm. I would say it's warmer than my Olympia jacket that I used to wear. You'll see in some of my videos. And um, I really like the way this jacket looks. I like the way it feels and uh, it was a good deal. It was ever, I think it was like 60% off. So I always wanted a leather jacket, didn't want to spend the money. Um, so I always had the Olympia gear. This lasted me a long time, but uh, it's time to mix it up. And uh, I like this jacket too. It, it, it's not as branded as some of the other Harley jackets. It says Harley Davidson on the back. Um, but it's tone on tone, so it doesn't look, it doesn't pop the way that some of the, uh, like the orange and black Harley jackets ride, that like million dollar Bogan rides or wears. Although I love his jacket. That cat's crazy. I'm looking forward to see what his adventures are with that monkey bike. I, uh, I'm not a guy that could pull off a monkey bike, but I respect the man that's thinking outside of the box. And certainly that he's raising money for men's health. I think that's great. If you, uh, you're in a position to donate to his cause, please do. Um, mental health is for men is one of those things that we don't talk about, but uh, certainly affects all of us. And I think it's a good cause. And it's certainly a, uh, <laughs> gonna be some great content. He's even got the uh, Max 360 out there. So that should be fun. And also in the comments, let me know what you think of this camera setup and how you like it. I went with super wide with the, uh, not the dash cam, the handlebar cam. And I went with, um, I think it's just standard wide for the helmet cam. I don't like super view on my helmet. I feel like it distorts too much. Well, it does. And it takes away from, I don't think it gives you quite the view that I have, obviously, because it's so wide. I think the, um, the wide view gives you more of a feel of what it's like to be on the bike. But again, just my thoughts. Curious to see what you think. I recently uh, made 50 subscribers today, this morning. So I was pretty excited. I know that's not a milestone for YouTubers, but it certainly is for me. I started the channel to be fun and really just to have something to creatively play with, to uh, learn to do more video production work and to uh, you know just sort of capture my rise and give me something to do. So for all of you that have subscribed, I greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I know there's uh, certainly a lot of content to watch on YouTube, so that you taking the time out to subscribe to my channel is appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, would always appreciate the fact that you take the time out to do it. You can see what my adventures are. We're gonna let the bike open up a little bit here. We are about eh, five minutes away. We got 15 minutes before it starts, so we're not doing bad. Wifey's behind me in the car somewhere. All 
But let me let me know also what you think of this cross content. I thought it'd be pretty fun to uh, you know sort of cover our off bike adventures. I think it's always fun to uh, you know see people ride and see what they're doing. But I also think it's kind of neat to see that you know there's other things going on.